Here we have an iPad 10.5, an older iPad 10.5 that came in for no power. We already disassembled the screen. And the first thing that we did was plug the charging cable. And we noticed the charger was pulling 5 volts at 0.6 amps. Anytime we see 0.6 amps, that's not good. It's likely a short circuit. Or maybe we have an issue with our TriStar chip. I do have a TriStar tester here. We had this in the shop since I could remember, maybe 2017. And we use it every once in a while. We use it. What I want to do is plug it in. We used to use it a lot more back in the days, but now not so much. Press on test. And it's going to give us a pass or fail. If it gave us a fail, then we're going to go for the TriStar chip. And I can tell you now, it did give us a fail before, but I want to do it on camera. Okay, so it's a fail. The TriStar chip on iPad 10.5 is located under this plate right here. So we have to heat up that plate to desolder it. Anytime we apply heat here, we have to be careful because we do not want to spill heat to the battery. And we do not want to damage the battery connector, which is right here. I currently have the battery disconnected. We put a piece of plastic to disconnect the battery. So we do not want to burn the connector and we do not want to burn the battery. I've done this a lot of times and it should not be a problem. The TriStar chip is tiny, as you will see. What I want to do is watch out for those connectors. We're going to have to watch out for the battery connector and we're going to have to watch out for the battery. A lot of things can go wrong when replacing the TriStar chip on this tablet. So I'm going to apply heat over the plate. This plate on older iPads, it used to be a snap-on. We can easily take it out and back in. I mean, iPad 10.5 is an older tablet, but the generations before, the plate used to be a snap-on, where we can easily take it out and put it back in without having to desolder anything. The plate is out. And if you look here, everything is intact. I just focused heat on that plate. As soon as I was able to move that plate, we go out. No need to apply more heat. Now I'm going to keep those two heat sinks on the board. And those heat sinks, I removed them off video cards. Any heat sink with a thermal pad would do. And our TriStar chip is right here. See it? Look at how close that TriStar chip is to the battery connector. Here we have the TriStar chip. And that's the battery connector right here. Under this. Let me grab a TriStar chip. And we do sell those on our site. Whatever we are using on the bench here, everything from this amazing microscope, and it looks like I'm zoomed in a lot, to the articulating arm, Amtec flux, soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal cameras, tweezers, braid wigs, whatever you need, log into our site, add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. All items are in stock, unless of course the item is not in stock. And for all of you who have purchased from us before, you know how fast we ship. Let's remove this chip. And pin number one is on the bottom or on the top right as I have the board oriented where the battery connector is. Apple do not like to label their boards. And that chip is so tiny, it's hard to label the board.
and the TriStar chip is a BGA chip. A lot of solder balls under it. Very, very tight area. I mean, I wish I have a penny to compare that TriStar chip size. Wait, I do. I have a nickel or a penny. I got it. So let's see how tiny that chip is. And that's a penny right here. So that chip is the size of M, I N, in God we trust. So just a tiny bit bigger than M when you look at the penny. That's how tiny that chip is. Let's throw out that chip so we do not confuse it with the new one because I did that yesterday when I was working on the laptop that I posted the gigabyte laptop I confused the new chip with the old chip but then I replaced all the chips so it didn't matter I mean look at my syringe that's a 16 gauge syringe tip it looks huge under the microscope because we are zoomed in a lot under the microscope everything look nice and big but that stuff is microscopic and we have to use a very fine tip also i'm using nf dot mini the knife tip and look at how big the tip looks even though that tip is fine To be honest, I've been using this tip for the past maybe six months and maybe it's about time that I changed that tip. It's still going, like an energizer battery. Keeps going and going and going. High quality tips. Unlike the cheap tips where you use it once or twice and then solder won't stick onto it anymore. No, this is different. If we sell it on our site, it means it went through a lot of testing and that's why we sell it. We do not sell for the sake of selling, but we sell what we believe in and what we use for the most part. I do not want to spill solder onto the neighboring components because that's going to create more work to clean up. And look at that glare. I can barely see anything. What do we do when we have glare like this? When we have reflections like that? We use the Northridge Fix anti-glare light. And that's like the perfect example. We do not have glare anymore. What more do you want? If you have not purchased this anti-glare light before, now is the time. That's if you are serious about what you're doing. Rotate. Just a minute. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? Sorry, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's been here for a while, yeah. How is everything? Good, man. Look at what Big Boss put on my bench, and he made me aware that this card that came in today, EVGA, looks like an EVGA 3090. I want you to see this. Ta-da! No core, no memory chips. Every day we get at least one that looks like this. We have a 4090. We have an LG monitor board with a broken connector. And I do not know if the pads are affected. I did one few days ago working on the same board. 
and I have a couple of Nintendo Switch motherboards and I have hard drive another hard drive and all those are scheduled for today we have a data recovery guy working for us and we need one more if you do data recovery you have the PC 3k equipment especially the mobile version and you have the experience let me know very good pay we get at least 10 to 12 drives a day everything from m.2 ssds hard drives raid drives we do have one guy working for us who has all the pc 3k equipment but we need one more he's not able to keep up We had that one data recovery lab. The owner came to our shop and he said, I want to get some business from you. We spoke for a while and I told him, here, take this drive. I gave him a hard drive, a 3.5 inch mechanical hard drive. Just a few minutes speaking to him, I gave him a drive. I said, recover this. We agreed on the price, very good pay. And once this is done i just want to see how you work and i'll give you a lot more business so when he left later that night i realized that i gave him the wrong drive i gave him a good working drive they look similar but i gave him the wrong drive so i reached out i sent him a message i gave you the wrong drive i gave you a good working drive the drive i want recovered is not the one that i gave you and then he emails the following day or the day after and he said I already recovered data you already recovered data I'm telling you I gave you a good drive that's not the drive I want recovered and you reply with I already recovered data recovered data from what from a good working drive I let him go immediately it doesn't matter how much experience he has it doesn't matter what equipment he has if you cannot work with that person this is a business Things can happen, mistakes can happen. If you do not have the skills to communicate with a business and work with that business, why do I need you? I let him go. Same day, I never got that drive back. I do not care about that drive. There's nothing on that drive that's important. So I did not bother taking that drive back and he never bothered bringing that drive back. I let him go and we found somebody else and that somebody else has been working with us for a while but he's not able to keep up we have a long queue of hard drives and we want to get them out ASAP I mean right on my bench right here on my bench I have like like five of them this one here I did myself it was a problem with the circuit board this one here I still have to check we have this one here We have this one here. We have this one here and those came yesterday and the day before. And I still have a couple of them on the bench and a lot in the queue. You're never gonna run out of business. So I cleaned the pads. I used the swab, 99% isopropyl, all good. All we have to do is solder the new chip, apply a tiny bit of flux. Pin number one is on the top right as I have the board oriented. Let me add just a tiny bit of the ring light to cover the shadows. And you see, I only applied a tiny bit of flux and it looks like it's a lot under the microscope. Okay, so that chip made a connection. Now all we have to do is reflow.
Very nice. We tap it, it pulls back. The chip is soldered on nicely. You see how fragile that chip is? My tweezer touched the very corner and it made this tiny mark here. So now all we have to do is use our TriStar tester again. We're gonna plug it in and we do not wanna see it fail. We wanna see it pass. Okay, so we're gonna press on the button and it's currently working. And look at this. Pass. And if you wanna see the details, all pass. All the lines on that TriStar chip are a pass. Awesome, we did it. We did it. All right, so that plate is soldered back on the board. Better than factory. Just got a big order from Michael. Thank you, Michael. San Francisco. What did Michael order? Heat resistant, heavy duty silicon pad, at and hot air station, pre-cut silicon pads, microscope, plus all the lenses, articulating arm, the ring light, NF probes, bent nozzles for the at and hot air station, low melt solder, one, 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 one of each, Chemtech wipes, Fume extractor, Northridge Fix PCB board holder, perfect. Grinding pen, UV light, and green UV mask, pad strips number three, and solder paste. Perfect. All the tools that Michael ordered are stuff that we use on our bench every single day. I wish him the best. Right, so we are done. I'm going to hand the tablet over to Big Boss to reassemble and test invoice and mail it back to the customer i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video